grouper or lapu-lapu is a market important fish product and high value species with great demand in the local and export market. It is easy to culture and can be done in ponds and floating net cages. Technology of grouper culture is relatively cheap and easy to run. Grouper fry is sourced from the wild or captive grouper broodstock. In Bicol region, Cage grouper production is being adopted in few fishing grounds at a small scale level using indigenous materials and ponds, one of which is in Ragai Gulf. Ragai Gulf is among the active producers of net cage groupers where local fish farmers mastered the technology for years, and grouper is among the lucrative fish product produced in the Gulf. Before Bicol through the Fish Coral Project provided grouper cage culture as one of its livelihood support to the fish cage farmer households in three barangays in the municipality of Ragay and one barangay in Del Gallego, Camarines Sur. These includes Malayang Samahan sa Kauunlad ng Katabangan, Lower Oman Fisher Folk Association, Apad Aparan Fisher Folk Association, and Magay's Rail Fisher Folk Organization. The provision of the Livelihood Subproject aims to promote conservation and protection of their municipal water while scaling up the grouper production in the Gulf and uplifting the living condition of the fisher folk. The local government of Ragay and Del Gallego with the BIFAR and Fish Coral Project assists the beneficiaries from the orientation of fisher folk organizations, implementation, sampling and monitoring of the grouper cage culture and harvest. The fish culture projects in the municipalities of Ragay and Del Gallego were not spared from the natural calamities that struck Bicol region on a yearly basis. The recent typhoons that hit the region in 2020 brought the fish cages in the severe risk. However, these does not stop the beneficiaries from continuing their production. There are mitigating measures employed prior to the impact of natural calamities. Uh, before the typhoon, nagkakaroon kami ng mga bandilyo, pinapata, pinapapuntahan ko doon para at least maka-aware sila ng parating na bagyo. Ang may sama ng panahon, kami po ay nagpupulong-pulong para kung ano ang dapat namin gawin. Kaya pinapagtibay po namin ang mga cages, uh, ang lambat, tinataklo mo na maayos, tinatahi at inudubli po ang mga net para mas tumibay po. Yung for cycle namin, kumita po kami at naglaan po kami ng panibagong pondo sa kabintahan. At nakapag-stack uli po kami ng 1,000 pieces po na grouper. Ay sinamampalad po at Dinaanan naman po ng kalamidad. Tatlong bagyo po, Kinta, Roli at Unisys. Uh, talaga pong nahirapan po kami. Hindi namin malaman kung paano kami mag-uumpisa. At, at nawasak po ang cages namin. Ang isda po nangalat dahil sunod-sunod po yung bagyo. Hindi po namin na-recover kagad kasi laging malakas ang dagat. Malaki ang alon. Eh, chinagaan po namin at nakakuha pa rin naman po kami na nasa mahigit isang daang piraso. Ang nakakatawa po at buminta pa rin po ng isa pong umpisahan uli para maka third cycle kami po. At napagkasunduan po namin ng grupo na ito po ay pinundo namin para ibili uli po namin ng pang stock po namin na grouper. The COVID-19 pandemic constrains the farmers in achieving the maximum benefits from the live grouper production as its price worth of 650 pesos drops by 53 percent or 350 pesos. Mag-lockdown po ng panahon ng pandemic. Halos wala pong bumili ng grouper kasi po hindi makabiyahe. Pero itong, po itong bandang huli, eh, nagawan po ng paraan na puntahan talaga ng buyer. Kaya lang po medyo may kababaan po ang presyo. Sa paghanap po ng buyer, ma madali lang naman po yan dito kasi po karamihan po dito yung fish pan. 650 talaga siya. Kaya lang ay nasakto naman pong pandemic kaya baba lang po talaga ng kuha sa amin. 
One time kasi nung pumunta kami doon, kami po ay ano, yung bumili ng kanilang mga mga produkto para naman po makabawas kasi nakita ko talaga na marami nang pwedeng ibenta. Tapos yung iba, ini-encourage ko din na bumili sa kanila. Recently, the price of live groupers slightly bounced back as it increased the price by 6% from the lowest price noted. Ayaw po naming mangyari na mawala yung sinimula naming proyekto. Gusto po naming lumago iyan. Sa grouper po, nasa 16,000. A grouper nursery was established by the Bifar Bicol through Fish Coral Project to increase access of the grouper farmers to quality fingerlings and contribute in the sustainability of grouper habitat. It was then the birth of Ragai Marine Aquaculture Association, the federation composed by fisherfolk beneficiaries from four coastal barangays in Ragai that manages the grouper nursery at Sitio Apadaparan, Barangay Buenasuerte. At sa ngayon po, may plano po kami na hantelan po namin na gumanda ang panahon po at saka ang pagbaba ng tubig para makakuha po kami dito sa nursery na po. Taga Kalawag, Quezon, yun po yung contact namin na pinagkukuna ng, ano to, ng pang-stocking tapos sa harvest, siya din po ang contact po namin. The initiative to establish nursery bridged the gaps of the grouper supply. It also promotes sustainable live grouper enterprise by discouraging the catching of fingerlings from the wild and use of obnoxious materials. It adheres to the environmental conservation in the municipal water of Ragai. Affected farmers by the recent typhoons has been able to access credit from financing institutions such as Producers Bank, Land Bank of the Philippines, and Kamalig Bank, the three of the conduit banks of the Department of Agriculture in the Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund, or ASEF, and Agricultural Credit Policy Council, or ACPC, programs. The token of sustainability and mechanism for transition of the support for the grouper farmers will take place prior to the phase of the project. The Ragai Gulf Management and Development Council shall be co-managing the local government units in sustaining what have been invested by the project. The project has capacitated the partner local government units in the conservation and protection and management of municipal waters.